Hey guys, it's your girl Shaniqua and welcome to my channel. For all you guys who do not know me, my name is Shaniqua and I am a mother of soon to be seven children. And today what I'm going to do for you guys is, um, I would say a, a newborn haul, well I guess a newborn, <laughs> a newborn haul. Um, because this is baby number seven, we decided to go along um, with a gender surprise reveal during birth. So we do not know the sex of this baby. So we're super excited. It could be a boy or it can be a girl. As of now, we have five boys and one girl. So we're super excited to see what this baby is going to be. Um, I am currently 38 weeks, going on 39 weeks this week. Um, today is Tuesday, January 21st. So yeah, my due date is January 30th. Um, for this baby, if you don't follow me on my channel, um, I did not do any shopping really for this baby because I did not know the sex of the baby. And I know most people would go ahead and do a, um, just shop for neutral colors. Um, I did start off doing that and then I immediately stopped because I realized everything that I was purchasing, although it was neutral gender, it was leaning more towards boyish to me more towards boys and because i already have five boys of course <laughs> if i have a little girl i would like for the clothing to be gender pacific so what i did um is i stopped shopping and i decided to just buy a couple of white <laughs> all white outfits um just for the baby's first week or two of life i do currently have a one and a two year old well two almost two now and three yo so I have so much um, clothing that was left over from the two younger boys that if I did have a boy I could just go ahead and pass down some of those clothing if you are not following me um, you could just go look for one of my earlier videos matter of fact I link it down below I, I'm gonna try to find it <laughs> and I'll link it down below but I I think I did a haul where I showed like a lot of the things I had for my last son whom is still one years old and I had about maybe 20 white onesies that was newborn, 20 white onesies that was zero to three months, 20 white onesies that was three to six months. So I really didn't feel the need to um, purchase anything for this baby until I find out the gender of the baby. And then I can go get more gender Pacific clothing. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead with this haul. Um, and it's going to be really quick because I didn't buy much. <laughs> So to start off, um, this is going to be my bag that Quentin and I use. As you can see, it says Roman Empire and it is gold and black. That is our theme color. Um, and yeah, it is a duffel bag. It's really cute. It has this strap here. You know, bigger strap here. It is really spacious. Um, it's bigger than what the camera is probably showing. And I'm going to use this for my clothing and Quentin clothing. I did use this for my last son, Luvian, when I went to the hospital. So it's the same bag. I don't get to use it often, actually. That was my last time using it. But I do let the um, younger children take it to daycare to keep their sheets in. So, yeah, I'll be using it um, for this week or next week when I do go in and have the baby. Next is this Juju baby bag. Now, this bag is so beautifully made, guys. It is black, white, and gold. Um, I'll leave the name across the screen. It's called Juju. This bag cost me $200. I just love it. It is a backpack. Um, I'm not going to get into details. Um, you could, Like I said, you could Google it. It's called Juju. And um, this bag I used for Luvian, my last son. And I love it so much. I did not use the bag often. So I'm going to be using this same bag to bring home this baby in. And I do have to go ahead and get it clean, which I'm going to do today. But yeah. And I'm not going to do a what's in my baby bag video or what's in my bag video for the hospital. Just because it's baby number seven. I'm kind of over that part. Plus, I don't think I have enough time to do it, make the video. And from the items that I have bought, purchased, you'll see that it's, it's going to be something in this little group right here of clothing that I have. So to start with, we have let's see. A white blanket, a, a white simple fluffy blanket. Um, you can't. I'm not sure if you can really see, but they have little diamond shapes in it. And this is what I'm gonna wrap the baby um up in to come home in from the hospital. Then I have just one 
pack of receiving blankets. Um, hey, a five pack of receiving blankets. Really pretty. It's gold, black, and white. Um, and it has little animal zebras on it. We have a polka dot one, a plain one, a striped one, a gray one. Very neutral gender. Boy or girl can use this. So, yeah. And I only bought one pack. Then, I have some burping cloths. This is a pack of five. Um, this is muslim burping cloths. It is so soft, guys. Um, very delicate for baby skin. So, this is going to be really good for a newborn. And it's white. <laughs> Boy or girl can use this. And I have five in a pack. Then I bought one pack of bibs, although I don't believe I'm going to need this. But I did buy it just in case. Um, and it's all white. This one says, Heaven Sent. This one has stars, moons, and clouds, which I love this theme. And then this one says, Bless This Baby. So it's three white ones. Really, really cute and simple for baby, if needed. Then, of course, we have some white mittens for the baby. Guys, these are um, the really, really good kind, the newborn kind, not the kind that you um, find in the store. I know, oh, I can't open this one. Sometimes it's hard to find really small mittens. Um, I went on Amazon and got these, and they're like the official, original white little baby mittens. They are so cute. Look at them. So, that's three in a pack, and they're white. So these are these are definitely fit the baby hands. They won't be too big. Then I have a neutral um, color pack of washcloths. Left it up to me. I would have had all white, but I didn't see the all white ones when I went to buy cloths um, for the baby. So it's yellow, mint, green, and white. Really pretty colors for boy or girl. This is a pack of eight and guys i just love these little socks i know you guys is probably like socks but these are from nurses choice newborn and it's really hard to find newborn socks of good quality so i'm really excited about these socks i ordered these from amazon and these oh my goodness these are old school actually um and they're so cute and the quality is really good and look how little they are guys like these are the smallest socks I think I have ever seen. I don't even think my other, um, my last two babies had these. But they're really cute. White socks. So I found some newborn socks. And if you're looking for small newborn socks, because they can be hard to find, um, Nurse's Choice on Amazon. That's the name of this brand. And these are a pack of um, 10. 8 or 10. No, 6. 6 white ones. Moving along, although I do have plenty of white um, onesies, undershirts, I did new baby. Of course, he or she needs their own brand new undershirts to come home in onesies. So I did go ahead and buy a four pack um, or a six pack, one of the two of these onesies. They're really cute, very good quality. They button in the front, which is um, very much needed for a newborn baby for diaper changing and, you know, to clean the belly button. So, yeah. And these have the little mitten to cover his or her hands so that, you know, baby won't scratch face because they're really good for that when they're freshly out of the womb. So, yeah, I have a pack of one, two, four. So, baby does have new, four new um, white onesies along with the other 30 pair I have <laughs> that's, that's being washed as we speak. And I'm going to go ahead and put that stuff up. So, uh, when I first started shopping for the baby, guys, this is what I was ordering. Thinking of spring and summertime. Um, and I think they're just so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, let me just take them out the pack. Because I have to wash them anyway. But I went and I stacked up on these little 
cute. I don't even know what they're called, guys. Rompers? Rompers? But they for boy or girl. And they're just super cute. Oh, my goodness. I'm just in love with these. And I got gender neutral colors. Which a boy or a girl can wear these colors. With a little girl, I would just throw some headbands on. But this is when I stopped buying gender neutral clothing. Because <laughs> I seen the rompers. And they had cute little ones with flowers for girls. And purples and pinks. And, um, you know, very pastel light colors. And I said, wait a minute. If I'm having a girl, I'm going to need those colors. So let me not even buy anymore. But look at them guys. <laughs> Isn't they so cute? Look. <laughs> the little cross in the back. It's linen material, guys. Really good material. With the little brown buttons. Oh my goodness. So stinking cute. And these will be cute on a little girl with a headband. Or in some leggings. A little sock leggings. And a little boy will look adorable with it. So yay. So we have a burgundy pair. Same thing with the details. The brown buttons. And then I have this... Um, I don't know if this is navy blue and white or black and white. I think it's kind of like black and white. But this striped one, so stinking cute. And they all look the same in the back with the cross strap. And then I have this gray one. So cute. This one does not have a strap in the back. But it is super cute. And then I have like this little mint green color one. Um, yep. I have bore what? five of those and then I bought two of these I have a white pair I'm not sure where it's at but these are the cute little booties whatever they call <laughs> I think that's about the only thing color I have bought for this baby okay no it's not no it's not oh look guys I have another one I didn't even realize I had another one so we have a little khaki color one and the reason why you see like little summer outfits or spring outfits, because this could be one with a shirt under um, and leggings. So it could be for the spring. Is because um, it is the winter months, but the baby's not going anywhere. And I have a lot of um, one-piece sleepers um, for my past pregnancy that I'm going to be using on the baby around the house. And, you know, so I didn't even get too many onesies. Even though it's a girl, I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping while I'm in the hospital online. But look at okay so we got this pretty little um mint green um gown it's a long one you tie the knot at the bottom super cute really good quality um this does not have the mittens but it's really cute so this came with the little hat guys and you know you tie the little knot right there let me see let me tie the little knot for y'all so you make the little knot right there up top Yep, boy or girl could wear this. And guys, what I loved about this is it came with a headband. <laughs> I know you're like, this girl's going crazy. Like, she must want a girl. I do, but it's whatever I get. But look, it came with a little cute headband if it is a girl. So, hat for boy, headband for girl. I thought it was to be super cute. Um, I have another one. I bought two of those. Let me find it. <clears throat> yep so the other one I went ahead and I got the mustard color yellow mustard looking color beautiful color for a boy or girl same as that till green one um, same thing you tie the knot at the bottom so this one lasts a couple of months for the baby and the same thing, it came with this cute little knotted hat. And it came with this beautiful bow. <laughs> I know y'all y'all see how excited I get? <laughs> Just even looking at a bow. Oh my goodness. It's it's been so long. I only had the experience of a bow one time because I only have one daughter. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be fun. If that's the case. All right, that's really all I have for color. Everything else is white, guys. Um, this I'm going to take to the hospital with me, I think. It says, welcome. Welcome to the world. 
super cute. It's just a little nightgown, guys, with stars on it. Um, and it does have the little mittens for the hands. I may be taking this with me. This is a little um hat it came with with stars. This looks pretty big to me. It does not look newborn. So I'm gonna take it, but I don't think the baby's gonna fit this. But I do have a white small newborn one, so that's okay. So I may be taking that to the hospital. Oh, I did have some more color. <laughs> this is another item that I may be taking to the hospital. I'm looking. Yes. Here we go. So it's the same as that white nightgown with the stars. I also bought the one piece with the stars. This is newborn, guys. All of these things is newborn, too, by the way. So it's newborn, super cute. And it says, welcome to the world. And it has the buttons up front. You know, easy change for the baby and cleaning of the belly button. And it came with that same little hat. And this one actually looks smaller than the other one. So I'll probably just take this hat. Because this actually looks way smaller than the other one. So I'm going to take the gown and the one piece. So baby, it'll probably come home in this. I'm not sure, guys. It's gonna be something white though. Um. Then I also ordered um this little cute white one piece, really cute. Um. So I'm gonna take this to the hospital too. It's a one piece, super cute, um, very stylish. Yep, simple one piece. I got this little white, I'm not sure what these are called, but you know, to put the baby in, to sleep in, so he or she won't be so cold, um, because you know, the baby can't use a blanket, and what I like about, is a sack, a baby sack, <laughs> what I like about this is the buttons is on the side, so look, I could easily unsnap here, you know, so this is super cute, white, very simple, very simple. Then, of course, the baby's going to need a white towel. Well, not a white towel, but I bought a white towel after the baby first bath in the hospital. Well, they give the baby like a little, um, a little, you know, wipe down and a little pail. So a little bucket bath, if that's what you want to call it. So let's have the little cute ears. And it's all white, very simple. Um, so I'll take this to the hospital. And then another little white gown. This is just all white plain with the mittens. I'm going to probably take this to the hospital. This is for newborn. I'm taking all the whites to the hospital, guys, honestly. Everything's probably going to be white in the hospital, which I think is pretty cool for newborn. Because, they, you know, babies, they're so pure and innocent. So white is the color for that. And then my favorite, I just ordered these recently. They're newborn, too three gowns and they're super cute just because it, that's our colors go black and white <laughs> and um that's exactly what these colors is oh uh, isn't this cute y'all ah. so it says i love you to the moon or back this one just have gold black and white stars and then this one just have gold moons on it super adorable this just matches the whole theme in our room so yeah i can't wait for baby to wear these then I did get some little pants. I have a bunch of pants too, guys, from um Luvian when he was a baby. So I have all color pants, little newborn pants that I'm washing now. So the baby's gonna be using those pants also. So I just bought little bigger sizes because the baby doesn't need newborn ones. Only if it's a girl, <laughs> then she's gonna need some new ones because the ones I have is like black, grays, whites, um, browns cream color so if it's a girl she's gonna need some pinks and some purples and even yellow and you know the, all the pastel colors <laughs> so i just bought these because they was really cute really good quality and they're bigger they like i think these are three to six months six months i just love the um stripe black and white and then i bought a gray and white pair super cute and these are six months and I got some more. Where are they? Um, 
Yeah, I did have more color ones. I forgot. This is making a huge mess. Um, I did buy another black pair, but they're bigger. So it is six months. Can't go wrong with these for boys or girls. Um, what some gray ones? And these super cute red ones. And they all six months. Um, oh, I did order some more hats. Um, I bought the neutral color hats because I don't know what I'm having. But you see what I mean, guys? Black, which a girl could wear it. White, gray. But you guys see where I'm going with this? If I have a little girl, where's the pink and purples at? I gotta have pink and purples in there. Yikes. I'm sorry about my phone, guys. My phone is ringing. And then, for the bassinet, I did not get a sheet. So I ordered a pack of um, three sheets. And... This gold and white, I think, five room. So, with these um, geometric um, shapes, really, really cute, sparkle. So we have a set of three, and I'm gonna wash these, all of this stuff, guys, today. These is like little splashes of gold, and then this one has some more. It look like paint, gold paint was just splattered on it. Really, it's really, really cute, guys. So I think that's gonna look really cute on the bassinet. And although I am gonna, I am for you guys who don't follow me, I'm gonna be using the same bassinet I used for my one-year-old. So I did order a brand new mattress um for that bassinet. So they, the baby's not gonna use the same mattress. And I ordered a brand new uh, mattress cover. That's in the closet. And then the baby's gonna come home and of course <laughs> a white bunsen. Uh, this is as neutral as I can find it, guys. With gray ears, really cute. And it's newborn, although it looks really big with some little gray footings. But it was really cute for a boy or girl. So, baby, come home in that. And, guys, don't think I didn't go there. Don't think I didn't go there. <laughs> wow, all these cute little hats. In case it's a girl. I'm just saying. In case it's a girl. Your girl. <laughs> ordered. Some little cute hats. Look, guys, this is so cute. The little pink one. And look how tiny it is. Then I have a little white and pink one. White one with a pink bow. And then we have a little white one with a little pink diamond stud, which they all studied. But, guys, you know. Baby girl is going to come home. She could wear all white, but she's going to have one of these on. Surely is. All right, guys. So I also, along with that, I got a little cute white um brush and comb, very simple, very inexpensive. Um, I'm gonna take this to the hospital with me. And the reason why I went with a simple one is because if it's a girl, she's gonna get a pink one, <laughs> a pink comb and brush. <laughs> so crazy. All right, guys. I will be bottle feeding along with breastfeeding because I do not produce naturally really well. Oh, um, I have six children. I have had to do both with all six of my children. So I'm going to be prepared. Maybe not in the hospital, but as soon as they begin home, I'm probably going to start using bottles as well as pump, um, breastfeeding. So I went with um, Playtex Baby. I use this with my first son, my oldest. He's the only child I ever used the, these bottles with. And I only ordered one just to see how baby does with it. But I like these because it come with the little disposable bags, guys. Drink, dump, drink, dump. Trying to make my life a little simpler, being that I have seven children now. <laughs> so we're going to see how baby does with this bottle before I purchase more. You know, as far as the nipple, the gripping, etc. And then, I don't know. I got these from First Landing Newborns. They're the... Um, Muslim blankets, really good quality, guys. This is like a cream off-white color. And then it came with a gray one. And then it came with this pretty neutral cream, no, brown. This pretty neutral brown color. I'm going to take the white and gray to the hospital, being that that's the colors that baby has in the bag. Because everything's white. 
Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're gonna take those. And then all of my children have eczema. For that reason, I went ahead and I purchased Cetaphil Baby. Um, my older children use this. Every last one of my children have had eczema since they were newborns. So I'm pretty sure this baby's gonna have it as well. Um, I have never used Cetaphil Baby. Um, it says it's really um, baby friendly for newborns. So we shall see how baby does with this lotion. And um, baby bath before I try something different. Um, we have the baby's baby bop. Bop. What is this called? Is it a bop? Bopper? I'm not sure, but it's really cute. Let's go black and white. And it says, happy, joy, honey, baby, smile, love you. Really soft. Um, I love it. It is so pretty. I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave this home. I have Luvian's old one, which is gray and white. I'm going to take that one. It's really in good condition. I didn't really use it much with Luvian. So I'm going to take that one to the hospital and use that one for the hospital. Keep this one at home for when the baby comes home. And then, ah, this is heavy, guys. I just bought one box of water wipes that I'm going to use for the first couple of weeks. Um, until the baby's ready to go into the um, pamper sensitive wipes, which is what I normally use if the baby's bottom can take it. Because all of my children have had very sensitive bottoms when they were babies. I don't know what pampers. They all really pretty much wore different pampers. For the most part, I do use pampers. But it just depends on baby. So for that reason, I just bought one box of newborn pampers. When I see how the baby does, I will go and purchase some more pampers because he or she may need huggies. Even though I'm not a fan of huggies, but I think about two of my children did have to use huggies. They could not use these. So we're going to see if baby's able to use these. And then last but not least, I bought two bottles of Dref, um, Paradref detergent which I'm currently using one now, washing some of Luvian's old clothing that I'm going to pass down to the baby. That's going to go into the baby's um, chest drawer. So yeah, we have that to get the baby started in this new world. But yeah, guys, so if you guys are new to my channel, I hope you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications. For all of uh, my subscribers, thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. I look forward to posting more videos once the baby is here. This will be my last video until the baby comes. But give me about a week. <laughs> I'll be back uploading videos. Um, when me and baby come home, we'll be posting maybe about at least three times a week. If God's willing. I'm not sure. New baby. I'm not sure what challenges is going to come with that. But I'm going to work really hard to try to upload for you guys as often as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Um, yay, baby's coming next time you see me. I'll have baby in my hand. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.